Python tutorial Jensen's Alpha Performance Metric. Portfolio performance metrics consist of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Jensen's Alpha consists of estimating asset average realized excess return through the difference between asset average realized return and its theoretically estimated expected return using Capital Asset Pricing Model, or CAPM. For full reference, I recommend that you read Michael Jensen, The Performance of Mutual Funds in the Period from 1945 to 1964, published in the Journal of Finance in 1968. As a formula, we have that the asset Jensen's Alpha, or the asset average realized excess return is equal to the asset returns mean minus and within brackets we have the risk-free rate of return mean plus the asset market beta, which is the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the market risk premium, multiplied by market returns mean minus the risk-free rate of return mean. Great. So let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study Jensen's alpha with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are Python PyCharm IDE. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial Jensen Alpha Performance Metric Code File. So the first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import NumPy SMP, Pandas as CD, and then from stats models, we're going to import dot regression dot linear underscore model as LM for our linear regression, and then tools dot tools as CT for the constant or intercept for that regression. The following step is to create data for Jensen's alpha performance metric calculation. So we create an object named returns, which is equal to PD or pandas dot read underscore CSV, and within it we have the path to the data file found within data directory and the corresponding file Jensen's alpha performance metric data as a plain text file without CSV or comma separated values. Index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and open that data file. As we can see, we have a plain text file without CSV or comma separated values. The first column of this dates dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data. Then we have SPY minus RF. That corresponds to the asset risk premium. In this case, the asset as SPY ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Therefore, here we have its monthly arithmetic returns minus the corresponding month risk-free rate of return for the asset risk premium. And on the third column, we have MKT minus RF, which corresponds to the market risk premium. Therefore, here what we have is the market portfolio monthly arithmetic returns minus the corresponding month risk-free rate of return for the corresponding market risk premium. So back into the code file, they can continue to perform Jensen's alpha performance metric calculation. So for this first to that returns object, we're going to add a new column with a constant or intercept. Therefore, we have returns.loc, and within brackets, we have first semicolon. So we're selecting all the rows, comma, and creating that new column, which we are going to name CT for constant or intercept, which is equal to CT feature from stats models dot add underscore constant to those returns. And then we're going to fit the corresponding regression, which is equal to LM feature from stats models dot OLS for ordinary least squares all with capitals, and within it, first of all, from returns, we select SPY minus RF, which is the asset risk premium, and that corresponds to the dependent or explained variable, comma, returns here, and within double brackets, we have CT for the constant earning intercept, and MKT minus RF, which corresponds to that market risk premium. Here, we have those independent or explanatory variables, in this case, one independent or explanatory variable, together with the constant or intercept, comma, has a constant equals to Boolean, and then with dot fit, we fit that linear regression. And the following 
So we're going to print the results. We print a, print a blank space, then the title, which is alpha linear regression summary. And as we can see, we print the summary with j alpha dot summary open and close parentheses. So let's go ahead and run the code file. When you're doing it for the first time at any part of the code, you click the right button on the mouse and scroll down into the corresponding code file name to run it. But as I've done that before recording the video tutorial, the name's already stored right here. So I just go ahead, select it and click run. Perfect. So open the running console here, and if we scroll to the top, we see Jensen Alpha linear regression summary, the ordinary least squares regression results, and specifically, we are going to focus right here in the coefficients for the constant or intercept. Right here, the coefficient for the constant or intercept is the one which corresponds to Jensen's Alpha performance metric. Excellent. So now that we finished studying Jensen's alpha performance metric, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay. So with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.